Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the AES convention in New York with Mark Fuchsman of Sam Our Audio. Hello, Mark. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Yeah, really good well. Good to see you. Likewise. Always yeah. good to see you. And for those of you that don't know, Mark runs Sam Our Audio, makers of extremely fine ribbon microphones. Now, until now, Mark's microphones, because they're all hand-built in the USA, have been possibly kind of out of reach of some people, but you're introducing a new, much more affordable model, the AL95. So tell us about this. Yeah, here is uh, the new microphone, and uh, it is at uh, the price point at three ninety nine. And we, uh, as you said, we have more expensive microphones, but we also wanted to uh, make it available for much broader audience and to to much broader audience. And also, uh, we wanted to make sure that home recordists and the people who have, let's say, garage uh, studio or even basement studio could also use high quality ribbon microphones. So that's how this AL95 came out. And we do everything in house, so and I also write all the even uh, all machining programs myself. So my experience in machining and just make it like designing, and not only electronic part but also mechanical all mechanical parts, uh, allowed us to make extremely efficient body structure and I call it unibody uh, because like when usually like let's say we have here one two three four five parts just on the outer body and the uh, uh, XLR holder here there are only two parts because this one serves first of all as transformer holder as an outer body also there is um, here this collar is screwed on the uh, bottom and XLR it's everything in one body and we have a top so because such a nice uh, parts utilization we were able uh, to significantly um, a cut on the labor and the machining costs. So rather than lower the quality and make a, a less good mic, you've just made a mic that's kind of just more efficient. More efficient yes, exactly. Yeah. But it is also internally rather different from your other ribbon mic. Yes, it is. And one of the things um, we are using uh, piston ribbons, which work uh, completely differently because usual zigzag ribbons they are very flexible but also they have much more uncontrolled resonances but uh, a piston ribbon they actually used uh, quite a bit in older microphones such as being oh like bm5 bm6 uh, bm3 all of them used a uh, piston then uh, biodynamics uh, use piston, but are they used uh, with duralum uh, foil, which is much stiffer and also uh, with time it ages. And so it gets oxidized, so every say 10 15 years it needs uh, to be replaced. But we do it out of aluminum, pure aluminum. And uh, so it, uh, it, uh, it should. Uh, serve a lifetime. Excellent, and it's uh, a passive ribbon mic with a. Well, uh, right output. now uh, it is passive ribbon, and we have um, very limited time uh, uh, space inside. Uh, but uh, probably with time, we will think about active solution one way or, or another. Wow. Well, I certainly can't wait to get my hands on one of those. So yep. thank you very much for sharing us, Mark. Thank you. I look forward to trying yeah. it. Thank yep. you. Thank you.